Here at Flutterflow, we're constantly making improvements, releasing a new version of the product almost every week. And as you may know, under the hood, Flutterflow uses the Flutter framework and the Dart programming language. So apps built with Flutterflow are using Flutter, and Flutter is regularly updated with new beta versions released each month and new stable versions each quarter. These updates bring bug fixes, new features, and performance improvements. To ensure that Flutterflow builders benefit from these updates, we upgrade our code generation to newer versions of Flutter every few months. Besides upgrading Flutter, we also frequently update the underlying Flutter and Dart packages we use. This ensures that our builders can work with the latest improvements. However, if you import packages from pub.dev into your Flutterflow project, like in custom actions or widgets, you might encounter dependency issues. And the error might look like this. If you come over here and hover over right here, you can get some preliminary information. And if you click on it, you'll get more debugging info. You can also see these things in this little debugging icon. So let's explore what dependency issues are and how to resolve them. There are several types of dependency issues you might encounter. First, you may have package version incompatibility with new Flutter versions. For example, if your project uses package A version one and Flutterflow upgrades from Flutter version one to two, package A might not work because it depends on Flutter version one. This incompatibility arises because your app cannot use two different versions of Flutter simultaneously. Okay, but how do we find out what version of Flutter Flutterflow is using and what version of Flutter pub.dev packages are using. Let me show you. In order to find the Flutter version that Flutterflow is using, you can hover over the top left over here and it'll say the version right here. And to find the version of Flutter that a pub.dev package is using, you can go over to the package page, go to the GitHub repo, and into the pubspec yaml file and it might specify it here but when a flutter package does not specify a flutter number it uses the flutter sdk versions defined by its dart sdk constraints for example the carousel slider package has a dart sdk constraint of greater than 2.12.0 and less than 3.0.0 meaning it's compatible with flutter versions that support this range of dart sdk versions okay so how do you resolve these dependency problems you need to upgrade your package to a version compatible with the new flutter version used by flutterflow and here are your options to do that First, if you specified an exact version, for example, just audio package version 0.6.8, visit pub.dev, find the package, and use the copy to clipboard icon to get the latest version number. And let's check the pub spec file to see the Flutter and Dart version number that this package is using. So we'll come down to this GitHub link right here and go down to our pub spec YAML file. And you can see right here, we have that information. So this is compatible with any Flutter version greater than this one right here. Okay, great. Then update your package version and then recompile. If the error persists, the package may not yet be updated for the latest Flutter version. In this case, you can proceed to step three, and we'll get to that in a second. Second, if you've used a version range, for example, like this, this approach allows for updates within the specified range, ensuring compatibility with minor and patch releases without manual updates. Ensure your version range is appropriate. For instance, this means any version from 0.8.0 .0 to up to but not including 0.9.0 is acceptable. If you can't find a version that's compatible, then you have a couple of options. First, file an issue on the package's GitHub page, contact the author, or if you're feeling adventurous, open a pull request to update the package yourself. Second, package version conflict with Flutterflow. This occurs when you use a package that Flutterflow already uses, and the package version conflicts with the one used by Flutterflow. To resolve this, remove your package version specification and directly import the library. And third, transitive dependency conflict. What does that mean? Well, for example, if you use the horizontal week calendar package, which depends on carousel slider, and Flutterflow also uses carousel slider, but requires a different version, you'll face an issue. And it'll look something like this. To resolve this, either get the horizontal week calendar updated or use a different package. And while this isn't ideal, it's important to try to use popular packages. 
as they are more likely to stay up to date with the latest improvements. By keeping these solutions in mind, you can effectively manage dependency issues and ensure smooth project development with Flutterflow. If you're having any additional issues, please leave them below and we'll see you in the next video.